Hi fans of High Quality Entertainment. I've been meaning to talk about this band and especially John Fogarty for quite a while. That's right. Credence Clearwater Revival. Possibly the greatest American band of them all. Now I love Blue Easter Cult. Sometimes I, for me personally, I think they're my favorite American rock band. But, the, you know, there's Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. They were incredible. Uh, but Grand Funk Railroad, don't forget them. But especially for, you know, the late 60s, early 70s, for me, growing up, Creedence Clearwater Revival were just below the Beatles for how much I loved them. And... Uh, when Cosmos Factory came out, it was it was as good, or almost as good, as the Beatles' Abbey Road. Just song after song after song was amazing. And uh, so my favorite uh, CCR albums are Bio Country and Cosmos Factory. But even, uh, you know, Pendulum, which has never been as well admired as some of their earlier records, it's still a great album. And even Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras is, is okay. I even like uh, the, Stu Cook, the bassist. He, I remember it was the B-side for Sweet Hitchhiker, Door to Door. I've always loved that song. Uh, but what I want to really talk about is somebody named John Fogarty, who basically is Credence Clearwater Revival, with all due respect to, to the other three members. And of course, sadly, his brother Tom Fogarty passed away a few years ago. And uh, the other two members, I don't know if they're still performing, but I think they are, as uh, Credence Clearwater Revisited. And, uh, but it's really sad you know, that, you know, they broke up and there's all this infighting and with the record company and all that. And recently I watched a very, if you're a Creedence Clearwater Revival fan or a John Fogarty fan, you, you need to watch this interview. It's about an hour long. And I totally believe John Fogarty's side of the story. Not that there, you know, of course, there's always two sides to a story and I'm sure Stu Cook and Doug Clifford is, are going to disagree with some of the things he said. But you can just, in the interview, you can, you can see John Fogarty's passion even now for music. There's a clip here, if I remember, remember to put it in, of him performing Keep on Chuglin, possibly my favorite CCR song. And this was in uh, 2016. And he's like, he's older than me. And he's running around the stage, he's full of energy, still sounds great. Really, really underrated guitarist, too. And uh, I can't run around the stage like that. <laughs> Especially with a guitar. But, you know, I remember that this came out in early 1969, and I believe I got it right at the same time as Abbey Road. And of course, Abbey Road is, the, is my favorite album of all time. But this, I played this almost as much as Abbey Road. And Born on the Bayou, I loved. Bootleg, it took me a, a few listens as a 11 year old to appreciate, but I got to loving it. For years and years and years and years and years, I hated Graveyard Train. I just found it boring and really plodding. But just lis listening to it last night, it's like, I kind of get it now. And I enjoy it a lot more than I did back then. A great version of Good Golly Miss Molly. Penthouse Popper, which uh, some people don't, some fans don't seem to appreciate as much as the other songs on this album, but I love it. Proud Mary is a, you know, I'm, it's really overplayed. and. It's not something I want to hear every day of my life, but it is a stone-cold 
classic. And in the interview, I'll try and remember to post it and pin it for my uh, comment. He uh, tells, tells the story of how he came to write that song, and it's an incredible story, really. And then, of course, to top it off, Keep On Chuglin, which along with Ramble Tamble is my favorite CCR song, and those two songs are way up there as some of my favorite songs of all time. But even though, you know, John Fogarty is definitely respected by musicians and fans worldwide today, I, I still don't think he gets the uh, recognition that he deserves for being such an incredible artist for all these years and an amazing guitarist. And, uh, you know, I could ramble on and on and on, like I sometimes do, about CCR and John Fogarty. And like I said, total respect. I mean, Stu Cook on bass, especially on Keep on Chuglin, uh, and uh, Doug Clifford, Cosmo on drums, great drummer. They, they really, and Tom Fogarty, great rhythm guitarist. But CCR, I feel, was like at least 80% or more Mr. John Fogarty. And just one of my all-time favorite bands. So, if you've never heard much of CCR, except maybe, you know, the radio hits, check out, check out Ramble Tamble, which I believe was influenced by the Beatles' I Want You, She's So Heavy with that, you know, that long guitar riff in there. And there's this same kind of idea in the middle of Ramble Tamble, and it kind of builds and gets faster and faster. And it is just... Excellent. I love it so much. So that's my my feelings on CCR, but mainly this video is for you, if you are a fan of CCR, to check out the interview with John Fogarty, because I learned a little bit. And if I had to take sides, I would definitely uh, take John Fogarty's side on uh, all the sad things that happened with the breakup. So, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Boy. And keep on chuckling. And ramble-tamble a bit, if you like.